up guys this is true for each I'm chef Curtis hey today we're gonna do braised short ribs also I think we're gonna do um, what's this squash so we'll do squash today but we'll make it out of potato squash to go with the braised short ribs and we'll do a nice little sauce to go with it also we're gonna do some great great vegetables right here green beans uh, some squash yellow squash a green squash, some carrots, um, and we're gonna, we're gonna just do it up. We're gonna do it good today, guys. So, you know, follow along, and I'm gonna show you guys how to do a quick recipe. And actually, everything is gonna be braised, so it's gonna go into the oven. So, it's quick, easy, just follow along. All right, here we go. So, I got my carrots, I got my celery right here, got my onions. Got me one very nice side onion. This is a big old onion right here, guys. This is big. Big ol' onions. I got, I got some thyme over here, and I got bay leaves. I got three bay leaves, and also I got garlic. I have garlic right here, and that's just all going into the short ribs. And then I got tomato paste. Got to have tomato paste to work with this. So let's get started. Oh, matter of fact, here go my short ribs. I got some short ribs right here. Nice, nice short ribs. So we're gonna roll with that. So let's let's see what happens. Let's go with it. All right, let's get started. So, let's just chop in, chop some. And then with this, we want to rough chop it. We don't want to, you know, you don't have to make it all pretty when you're doing this with the carrots and stuff. See, you can come over here and check it out and take a look and you don't have to worry about it. See, just rough chop it, rough it. And then we're not going to take anything off because the, guy, the thing is, we're gonna strain it pretty much, take all that food and make our sauce. So, we're gonna make our sauce with the same sauce we took the short ribs. Get this out of here. Get this out the way. We're gonna do this. And that's just pretty simple. It's a pretty shrimp simple dish, you know. And thing is, we really don't care about, like I said, about how it look. So, it doesn't matter how it looks. You know, we, we definitely will take this off, but normally, just Oh, I'm in there. It don't matter. It's not gonna hurt it. Rough chop it. Rough chop it. All right. And then the garlic. All we're gonna do is just. We ain't gonna do too much to the garlic. We're just gonna smash it. Just smash the garlic. Push it over there. That's going in. All oh, it's going in. You know. And we brazen. Brazen. Brazen is pretty. And preheat your oven to 375 to start off with, and then bring it up to 420. All right, guys, because we're cooking at home, so it's a, little, it's a different, you know, the, the heat is different, you know, so we got to bring it up to that since you're cooking at home. So the heat is different on that, all right? So we got this right here. We're going to sweat them out in a minute. Now, got the short ribs. Short ribs are nice, nice pieces. So what we'll do is we're going to get us a nice bowl. Got your bowl. Get you some flour. Got my flour right here. So first, first of all, I'm gonna turn my oven, my, uh, my fire on right here, and I'm gonna turn it down a little bit. We're gonna cook this in a Dutch oven. So I got my water over there for my, my other vegetables. This is a Dutch, a Dutch uh, pot right here. So I'm gonna cook everything in here, and it's gonna be pretty slick, pretty slick. I'm telling you, it's gonna be pretty slick. All right, there we go, there we go. Might need a little bit more because we're gonna just dust it. But take me a little olive oil, put it in my pan. Because we're gonna just we're gonna, we're gonna, we're gonna sear it off. Because you gotta sear it off the meat to start and lock in all the good flavors you want in there. So, so what? you know, these are already been washed and clean and took care of already, so we good. Just put these over here, over here, and over here. So get rid of this. All right. All right. All right. Let's get a little bit of garlic salt. I like garlic salt in mine. A little bit of garlic salt in mine. I like, like, like put a little bit on mine. The garlic salt. Just put it in there. You know, be, be you know, be gentle because this is your flavor. This is your flavor. Now you gotta, you gotta, you gotta hit it right if you want to, you know, taste good. Now put a little salt. Yeah, a little salt in there. Ah, there we go. There we go. 
And this recipe is pretty simple, guys. You know, we braising, we braise the short ribs, we finish it off, and a little black pepper in there. That's it. All right, yeah, that's all we need in there. And then you can season it as you get, you know, as it get ready to go, get almost done, season it, you know, and go from there. So what I do is I, I just take my short ribs and normally I get a little flat pan, but today I'm gonna do it like this because I ain't got that many pieces. And then you're gonna sear it, gonna sear this off. Nice pieces, nice. And this dish right here, guys, and you can just put it, you can do this. This is the hard part. The easy part is, you know, just putting it in the oven and let it cook for itself. You know, we're gonna sear it first. We're gonna lock in the flavors, lock in all the good flavors that's in there, and we dust it. So wait for this to get get nice and nice and hot, and uh, we go from there. Yeah, that's all we gotta do is wait, wait, get it nice and hot, and go from there. And then we're gonna we're gonna do it separately. We're gonna sear this off first, and then we'll hit the other part. Uh, we'll do the vegetables next. Cause we, we don't want to do them all together at once and we crowded everything and we just put this over here and also let me get a can opener give me a can opener i don't think my thing will fit in there so i'll get another spoon out for that so my tomato paste for this later that's for that all right this for this good there we go all right so let's, so let's sear it off so the meat's in there we're gonna sear it this, we'll do it two at a time. And we gotta sear these nice and good, guys. You gotta get some nice flavor on these. Nice, nice coating. So let's get some coating on there. Here we got another piece right here, two more pieces. And we're not gonna crowd it right now. Because when we when we actually we put all the stuff in there, then we can you know add, put the liquid and all that kind of good stuff to it and go from there. Also, I got water boiling over here because we're gonna blanch the vegetables in here. All right, we're not gonna put no seasoning, no, no salt, no nothing in there. We're just gonna leave it just like that. All right, so we let that let that make it make it make a thing. Let it get get nice. It's good there. It'll get there. We just gotta take let it take the vegetables. Put these over here. All right, guys. We're gonna mix all this together, and we're gonna sear all this off. So this, you know, it's all good. It's all good. So spray short ribs, you know. And if you go to a restaurant. These normally run you one little piece, run you about $22. So, you know, and if you do it yourself at home, save yourself some good money. Save yourself some good money. You don't have to spend all that money. And everybody should know how to do can learn how to do this, even if you don't know how to cook. You know, oh, I ain't gonna say that because some people, you know, this, they just ain't really good. So we're gonna mess with this, this, this butternut squash. So we got one butternut squash right there. Cut them in half, guys. This is easy. I'm gonna show y'all easy, easy way of doing it. You can't mess this up if you try it, you know? All right, put that over there like that. Over there like this, see? Just cut them in half. Cut them in half, that's it. Cut them in half. You gotta clean it out. Clean it out. All right, get them all cleaned out. Get all that cook out. Got that cook out. Oh, let me go back, guys. Take a peek at my uh, short ribs. All right, give me one second. One second. Let's get yeah. it. Nice. That's what you got to do. Turn them over. Let them see it like nice and the color. We're gonna do all sides of them. Every single side. Bam, bam, bam. All the way across, baby. And we get them nice, nice, nice. Let's give me a little bit of that. A little bit of olive oil in that joint. A little bit more. A little bit more. It ain't gonna hurt. Gonna make sure you know. We ain't burning nothing. Now we can go back and get back. Put one of my little pans out. My little pans. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna take a little foil. Not the foil because I'm gonna show y'all. Show y'all a little trick I'm gonna do. This is the thing I'm gonna do. Take the foil. Put it down up in there. I'm gonna show you how easy this is. Line these suckers up. Just put them in there. Put them in there. I don't know if I can fit them all in there. I'm gonna try. I'm gonna try to get them all. I'm gonna try to get them all. I don't know. Come on, I know I get one more in there, baby. I know I get one more. So that's how they look right there. See? It look just like that. One more thing. One more thing. Let me check on this side. Turn them on this side. 
So we're gonna do this side too, the next. We're gonna turn that side too. We split them all the way around. Flip them all the way around. And you'll say, take your time. Don't be in a rush. Cause it ain't going nowhere easy. Get over here. Huh. Take a little olive oil. A little olive oil. A little olive oil. Yeah, pull up there on that put it on there. Take some butter. Butter, I'm telling you. And it's gonna be some savory, sweet goodness. Cause you're gonna have savory, you know, with the with the meat, and then you're gonna have a little sweet with the squash. Throw them in there. Throw them in there. But we gonna the butter like gonna, gonna, gonna absorb and come off in the, in the pan and stuff like that. So you're not gonna be really getting all that butter. You know, you know what I'm saying? Don't be afraid. Don't be afraid of no butter. No butter ain't gonna do nothing to you. It ain't never hurt you. All right. Take a little bit of this brown sugar. This brown sugar, baby. A little bit of brown sugar. Let me cut this open. Ah, I had some brown sugar in the cabinet, but my wife had threw my brown sugar away, guys. So I had, go, I had to go out and get me some new brown sugar. She said, it's been in there too long. But, you know, to me it happened. But, you know, I, I don't be throwing away my spices. I keep my spices. You know, so, you know, well, I, I know when they get old, you know. But she telling me, you know, they ain't getting old. So I put a little brown sugar on there. Put a little brown sugar, baby. Add a little brown sugar to this. A little brown sugar. Brown sugar. Brown sugar. That's all you got to do. Add a little brown sugar to it. And that's it. That's all you have to do. Hey, guys, this is it. This is it right here. I'm just telling you. This is Take a little bit of this. That. I just take a little bit. I, I cover them out a little bit to start off. And then I uncover them. When they get nice and playing with me a little bit. I, I, I just do this. I just like doing this for a minute. I don't keep it on there too long. All right. Next one. That's all you got to do. Oh, that's it. That's it. Boom. And you don't have to go as much as I'm doing, but I know what I'm doing. I'm locking my flavors in. I put my flavors in, and I'm locking them in because I want them to get a nice, uh, nice color on it. So I'm going to pull these out. Put them on the plate for a minute. Let them rest. It's only two. So far, put these to the side. Put the other two in there. Let that do. What, let that do what it do. You know. Enough on that right there. But if not, I just throw another. I might do two. I might do two tomato paste. Let me see. I don't want to do it too much, but we'll see. We'll see how it goes. You know, I don't want to open it just to be opening it. You know, and I don't use it for nothing. So I'm turning it. Like I told you, I showed you already. Turning this already. It's getting there. It's getting there. So, like I said, easy. The squash is in the oven. Let's uh, put the butter away right now. Got this. Come on over here, check it out. Let's do the carrots first. And you don't want to do them all at once because they cook differently. So the carrots take longer. So let me pull this out. It don't bother me. I'm, I'm, I'm my hands, hands are steel. <laughs> my hands are steel. So, so I, I'm, I'm going too fast for you guys. I don't think so, but maybe I am. But let's get it, get it all seared off. We're gonna sear that a little bit. We're, we're just trying to lock in the flavor. Okay, so you always have some ice. See? Let's get this meat out. Put it over here. Put it over here. All right, that's good. Let's that's gonna sit right there. I'm gonna get the carrots. Our mirequa. So we want we call it mirequa. Celery, carrots, onions. Okay. All right. Let that roll in there. And we're gonna we just gonna. On this right here, guys, all we're doing is we're going to sweat them. Sweat them out. Sweat them, baby. Just let them sweat down. Sweat down. You can't put this in the oven. You know, so that's why I put it in this little one right here, my little one. But uh, I do love this one, but it won't go in the oven. It's not really good for it. It's safe to put in the oven. But I'm not going to roll with it. It's more on top of the stove. So that's why I didn't put that one in there. So, 
All right, so now y'all know, man. Why you got this little pan right here with all that stuff in there? <laughs> oh, that's why. So we're going to sweat this out, you know. Yeah. All right, guys. So see how I spread it down? Looks good, don't it? It's spread it down real good. So what we're going to do is we're going to go right over here. We're going to grab this tomato paste. This goes with tomato paste, you know. Add tomato paste in there. Yeah, I think this should be perfect. It should be enough. We we'll put all of it in there. And it looks good, don't it? Put all of it in there, tomato paste. Mm -hmm. oh, I'll get it, I'll get it all. I won't be wasting it because it costs money, baby. All this stuff costs money, you gotta. You gotta take it off. I remember my chef when I first started cooking. He used to take this. Anytime we take something out of can, he'd take it and add some liquid to it and finish it off. Be like, give me all, give me it all out of there. I'm like, man. I'm like, Mike, what you doing, man? He's like, chef Mike, what you doing? Like, hey, we don't waste nothing. I was like, okay, I got you, I got you. So we just move this around. This all goes together, okay? That's how we do it. Cook this a little bit. I got this little baby spoon, but it's okay. We just cook it in there. Let it move around. Let it let this go and work itself around in there. Also, let's just throw another big thing in there. Zucchini. You know, we'll put these in there. We'll squash it in there, throw them in there, let them boil for a little bit. And then we, we once we let it get soft, we shock them and put them in ice water. And put them in ice water and it stops it from cooking and it keeps the color. That's why when you go to a restaurant, your vegetables look really bright, and, you know, and fresh. And that's how you keep it that way. You know, and it's just, it's just how we roll with it. But that's how we like it. All right, guys. It's popping, I'm telling you. It's going crazy with it. It's looking the color. It looks so good. So we just take this like this. And just all this. That's it. So let that, it's going to cook a little bit. All right, so, all right, what's our next move, guys? I'm gonna show you. All right, so that's looking good in there, so we're gonna take our short ribs. Let me get this one right here. The wrong one. We're gonna get it all in there. Put this in here. Put that in there, down in there. Get it all in there. The short ribs. All right. Get up in there. Get up in there, mama. Get up in there. Get up in there. We're gonna crowd it. We're gonna crowd it because this is all gonna cook down. It's gonna cook down, guys. It's gonna cook down. And that's the, I know it looks crowded. Don't, don't it look crowded to you? I know it do. I know you're saying like, hey, put all that damn meat in there. But, but here's the next trick, trick right here. We're gonna go over here and get my wine. Get a little red wine added to it. Put a little red wine in there. Red wine, baby. Oh my God. Oh yeah. I want a little bit more. Cause it's gonna cook out. I want a little bit more. That's good. That's good on the red one. We're gonna let that cook. Then we're gonna add more liquid to it, and then we're gonna cover it. And then that'll be it. All right, guys. All right, let me. Put, I can put this right here for you. Guys. Put that right here. Oh, gotta get. I'm gonna throw some thyme in there. Throw some thyme in there. Throw it in there. Just put, put it in there, just like that. Put it in there. Got some bay leaves. Not basil, but bay leaves. Put the bay leaves in there. That's it. That's that's pretty, pretty much it. We're gonna add some liquid to it. Add some more liquid, and uh, that's about it on that. that. That's that's it on that. Let me check my vegetables real quick. Make sure he's okay. Make sure my people are okay here. Oh, almost, almost. Just check them when they get a little soft. You take them out and you shock them. And this, this all gonna come together later. So starting to starting to get that little bubble to it. See, starting to get that little bubble. Bubble, yeah. That's all right. That's good right there. That's nice, 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 nice. And we're gonna add a little bit more liquid to it, guys. Just add over here. Get some some hot water, warm water, and put it over the top of it. We're gonna put more than this in there. And we're gonna add to it as we as we go, guys. Let's check it. I took the four off and let it got a little bit of more color to it look at that that looks good don't it so just we're gonna pull this out the oven first we're gonna double check it just tuck that nice nah, nice and soft nice and soft yeah that's what we want that's what we want 
nice and soft. Let's get it over here. Put it over here. All right. All right. Here we go. We got we to we do some scooping. So pretty much, I put a little butter over here. Even though I got butter in there, so I don't want to burn myself. So I'm going to scoop it. Scoop it out. Scoop it out, baby. Get it all in there where it's nice and hot. So you kind of got to fight a little bit. A little bit, that's okay. Put that over there. Take one, take that, take a little bit, put it off. I don't want all that oil in there, so Woo. we're gonna take them out of here. Let me get my tongue from if I hurt myself over here, guys. I don't want to hurt myself. Put them over here. They cool down real fast, too. They don't take long for them to cool down. And I'm pouring this off because I don't want too much and I want fresh. That's right there because, you know, I don't want that butter right there in there too much. I'm going to add a little bit more. And and it got that good flavor to it, too. I know it do. I know it got that good flavor. You know, it got that nice, this nice, nice. Mm -mm. Yeah. That's what I'm talking about. Got that nice, nice look. That nice little brown sugar. Like brown sugar, baby. That brown sugar in there. It'll be the mash right there. You know, it's so easy to come off. You don't do to do too much. It comes right off. Put that over there. Yeah, it's come out, come right out. Come right out. And see, I'm going to add a little bit of cream to it. Pump it up a little bit. Look, that's a little bit, not a lot of cream. You don't want a lot of cream in there. But enough, enough to get you, get you going. And then I got my little friend right here. You know, and we're gonna blend it a little bit. Just get a little bit, not too much. A little bit. Put that over there. And so we don't want no mess. And then we just get this blended a little bit. Look at that, look at that color. See that color? The color's beautiful, ain't it? See? It just brings it out. That's why I put a little cream in there and a little bit more butter. And that's it. Whipped. We call it whipped uh, squash. And so we got whipped squash. So, but it, it'll go good with it, I'll tell you. We'll wait for the short ribs. And uh, that's it. These whip right here. The short ribs gonna come out, and they're gonna stiffen up. These gonna stiffen up a little bit. It's not gonna stay as as uh, as, as smooth as this. It'll stiffen. So we'll let once it cool just a little bit, it'll stiffen. All right. So we're gonna put this to the side. Let's check on my short ribs. All right. So I lost the bet. The other pot I had before, it was kind of a little too small. But my wife, I, I told her that uh, I couldn't put the other pot in the oven. But she said, yes, you can. I, I bought it for you. You can put it in the oven. So I was like, okay, I switched it up and I, I got this one. So they actually do go in the oven. So we're going to see if she's talking about everything that's right about this pot. Because when I did it the first time, I had the white pot. So I switched it up. And I'm using this one. And let's see how it looks. All the good stuff in there. Let's check it out. Check my short ribs out. Look at them short ribs. There you go, baby. There you go. I'm gonna scoop, cause I'm gonna make my sauce out of this. This is my sauce right here. So I'm gonna take some of this, and then I'm gonna strain it through here. So this is how you make your sauce. So you just take take some of this out. And we're gonna just take some of this out of here. And we'll make some sauce out of this. Out of this, and we we'll skim it. Get all the, all the good stuff out. And we'll use it out of there. And we don't need that much sauce on here because we're going to make it nice and beautiful. We're going to make it look good. So let's move this over. And this, see how it just cooked down? Looks all nice. But it's okay. It looks good. We're, we're going to make it work. So we're going to take them out of there. And but first, I'm going to work with this sauce real fast so I can have my sauce. We're just going to skim the sauce a little bit. Put it down here. So that's how we do it. Let's put all this out. Skim all this in here. All right. So that's the sauce right there. And 
we'll put that back on the stove, man. And that's a little sauce. I'm going to finish the rest later and make more sauce. But I just want to show you guys how we make our sauce. How we do it. All right? So that's how we do it. And then we take a little bit of, we turn this on for a minute. Get this on for a minute. And we turn it down low. And then, so we add, we just put a little butter in it. Goes in there, a little bit of butter. Take a little butter in here. That's gonna give it a nice sheen, a little shine on it when you put it in for your salt for your beef. Sauce for your beef, okay? So we just let that cook, cook a little bit on there. Because everything's ready. We're gonna put everything together now. So we got this, go over here. Then we just let that go like this. See how it's cooking? How it's melting? Look at that sauce. Look how silky that sauce looks. See? And I didn't have to skim it. Normally, I, I skimmed the pot as I went along, guys, and get the oil off the top. So, but this one I didn't have to skim. I didn't do too much to it. So we'll sit there right there for right now. Look how rich it looks. That, that looks rich, doesn't it? Looks good. I'll take these off real fast. I'm gonna get these going really, really quick. You know, it'll take a couple of minutes for these. We got the garlic, salt, pepper, and uh, we got that. So keep filming that. Yeah, look at that one more time. This looks good, don't it? Looks real good. Oh yeah, oh yeah, it looks good. All right. And get that nice and hot. Because the short ribs are already done. All we got to do is plate up now. It's an hour and 45 minutes for us with the short ribs. So yeah, let's get in there. Let's get in there. So everything looks good. Coming together, everything coming together. So guys, like I said, all you have to do is do the same things I showed you. Put everything together, put it in the oven. Boop, that's it. Pop it in, watch football game, uh, do, a, do some laundry, whatever you got to do. So I'm just doing it like this. I got my olive oil going right here. So what I'm going to do is take my, my carrots. Everything's already cooked. So basically, I'm just heating them up. I'm just heating them up. So you get a little pop to it. A little pop. That's it. This already cooked. Add a little salt to it. Get to a little pepper. Add a little pepper to it. And then get you some garlic. So I got some garlic over here. I got some nice, and I got two types of garlic I use. I use some chopped, fresh chopped garlic, chopped, fresh. And I put a little bit of this, little bit, just a little bit, because it gives you that little, that nice, 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 nice hit to it. Add a little of that garlic to it. You know what I mean? Yes. You know, move it around. Move it around, guys. Move it around as well. All right, all right, there we go. Let that go for a minute. And I put all a little right. more, and more seasoning because I'm at home and I like seasoning. But you just the restaurant, they're not gonna hit you with that much seasoning the way I'm doing it right now because it's just the way it is. They, they go for, you know, the look on that. But everything is nice, nice, ready to go. Ooh, nice and soft, got good flavor. Turn this off, all right? So, what we do is, now I don't know everybody's scared of it, but don't be, take it. Put it in the middle. Give it in the middle a little bit. That's all. We're gonna make it restaurant style. Yeah. Look at that short ribs. That short rib looks good. Look at that short ribs. That's short ribs right there. Then we just put that right on top. Guys, put that right on top. Don't worry about it. Don't get them right here. Get them on the screen right here. It's all right. So we'll do it this way because I made that side looking like like that. So, so. Just take a little bit, take a little bit of vegetables, a little bit of carrots, put it right here, put a little, put a little bit right there, take a little bit of this right here, just make it look, make it look, look, let's center a little bit more, but that's okay. Like that. All right. Make it look, look nicer. Right there. Yeah. So, there we have it. This sauce, look at it, look at it, look how rich that sauce is. That sauce. Ah, there we go. Put that sauce on there. That sauce look good, don't it? All right. Try to leave some onions on there. On top. Yeah, we got. It. That way we, we brought it home. What do y'all think? We brought it home, guys. We bring it home. We brought it home. 
Did we bring it home? I don't know. You guys got to tell me. One meal right there, guys. And that, I think that you can do at home. You got short ribs, braised short ribs with, uh, what we got? The uh, squash, you know. So we got squash with it. You know, we got the vegetables with it. Everything look good. We got the fried leeks and onions on top. All right. You know, the short ribs. So, man, another, uh, butternut squash. That's what it is, butternut squash. Cook it down, do it like that. You see how it came together? You can make it more. You don't have to blend it as much as I did, but I like mine more whipped. You know what I mean? So it'll be nice and smooth. And just Because I want every bite to hit. You know what I mean? So every bite. So we're going to try this out. And we're gonna see how how we do. Let me get me a, let me get me something to work with and see how we do. I don't know how we did, so let me see it out. Let me see. Let me see if I worked with the right thing. Let me see if I if I got it right. I don't know. Let me see, guys. Let me see. Oh, ooh, ooh, ooh. yeah. Look at that. Look at that. That, that, that. Look at that meat. I'm gonna turn around this way. Come on, come on, on this side. I want this side to be nice. Look at that. That short ribs, that short ribs. Look at that short ribs right there, right there, right there. Let's let's do it. Let's do it. That, that bite. I like. I like. Look. Let me just get that money bite. Mm. <laughs> yeah, baby. Yeah, baby. Mm. Mm. Try a piece of look. The vest will go with it. Look. The squash go with. It. Let me see. That look good. That tastes good too. Guys. Woo! The squash is a bomb. Mmm. 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 I think I'm doing it. I think, we, I think we got it. So guys, like I tell you, it's an easy meal to make. It's a time and summer, but it's still easy. So guys, if you guys like this vlog, please smash that bell at the bottom and I'll tell you when I'm post my next video. Also, guys, please subscribe to this channel. Guys, we on we on Twitter, we on Facebook, we on uh, LinkedIn, we on what uh, Instagram, we on everything, guys. We we there. So guys, like I said, if you want to learn any more cooking things, you want me to cook some some dishes for you, please subscribe to this channel. Hit me up, and I you know I, I go through it with you, and we can work it out. We'll make it work. So guys, like I said, hey, stay true to your food, guys. And peace out.